Here's a white-tailed deer and our little five-day-old fawn. Uh, the fawn is one of a pair of twins. Uh, the mother keeps them separated uh, for the first few weeks, maybe three or four weeks. She'll stash them in the brush uh, in separate locations and alternate, alternately go and uh, pick up one of them and uh, feed it and let it run around and stretch a little bit and hear it gets interested in the camera. Uh, there's no person associated with the camera right there. They're operated by remote control, uh, so the, the baby's not afraid of it here. And right now the mom's giving it a basically a little bath. Uh, it was raining uh, very lightly at the time, so the fawn had been wet and we were kind of worried about it. Last year, uh, the same mother uh, had two twin fawns and she lost one of them in a a rainstorm. It was kind of cold that day and, and one of them uh, got too cold uh, being out by itself uh, just stashed in the brush there. Uh, so it was good that this was a, a warmer day because uh, it's, it's, it rained heavily about three inches or so. Here's a little shot uh, in a morning of a, a fox that's just kind of wandering through, uh, passing through, and it truly was not clear whether the fox had even seen the mother uh, deer with the fawn that she's nursing, and and it was not clear whether the deer had seen the fawn, uh, seen the fox uh, either. Here, the fawn is still nursing on the mom, and mom decides that it's time to go uh, here. And there's a couple of cardinals flying by, and that's the Indian blanket flower, which is quite common uh, around here in in Texas, out in open fields and whatnot, and. Uh, when mom decides it's time to go, it's time to go, and she's not going to wait for the, the little one, and it just needs to catch on up and get with the program.